Saturday Night Live. There is news there. Could be saved by Shane Gillis, the hilarious comic who was sacked from the show back in 2019 for some controversial remarks he made uh, that were unearthed. I mean, a comedian saying something offensive. I'm shocked. But he's gone on to have enormous success since being cancelled by Saturday Night Live and they now want him back. Let's have a look at some of uh, Shane's work from his recent Netflix special. Here is his take on Joe Biden and Donald Trump and the debates. Because Trump's whole thing is he tries to get in the other guy's head, dude. You can't get in Joe's head. <laughs> Joe's not in there. Good luck, dude. <laughs> Biden, Biden is Trump's kryptonite in a debate. He's literally perfect. You can't beat him. Because Trump's whole, Trump tries to drag the other guy into like a shit talking contest where he will win. He will win at that. He can't get Biden. He tries. Every, every debate he's trying so hard and Biden's just... <laughs> he tries. He just... You're a loser. Your son did crack. And Biden just... <laughs> what? <laughs> so, if his Trump is better than Trump. I mean, if you're listening, <laughs> not watching, his Trump is more convincing than Trump. And I've got to say, this is my favourite part of the special where he recounts that night where American forces killed the Islamic State leader. It's the night the United States killed the leader of ISIS. Trump comes out of the Situation Room at, like, midnight in the White House and he walks down that f***ing tunnel... Like he's, and gives a press conference, like he's giving a post-game NBA <laughs> just killed a guy press conference. He walks up in front of the entire world at midnight and just goes, Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi is dead. He died like a dog. And <laughs> That's all him, dude. <laughs> I didn't change one word of that. That's what he opened with. And then he did 40 minutes. The speech is 40 minutes for no reason. It wasn't a prepared speech. He freestyled 40 straight. Not even a speech, just mean talk for 40 straight. The meanest talk you've ever heard in front of the whole world. Abu. We can hear him crying. I said, Abu, don't cry. Abu. Let me tell you something. Abu cried. He cried quite a bit. I wouldn't have cried. <laughs> Cry baby back daddy, that's what we were all calling it. It's just so good. He's just so good. Um, it's interesting, though, because he's just now teamed up with Bud Light. Mm. Now, Bud Light seems to be trying to team up with the most unpolitically correct characters they can, they can find. They've teamed up with the UFC, which is uh, mm. absolutely hated by the left. Uh this is interesting. This is a show is that there is life after cancellation. Well, isn't it interesting, Rita, because it's in stark contrast to Bud Light teaming up with Dylan Mulvaney and yeah. we saw the fallout from that, which was catastrophic for the company. Uh, they've gone the absolute other way. Well, they've had to. And they've had to because this has affected their bottom line. So I think this will be a good result for them, but this is a lesson too. When they go down that woke road, it bites them hard. It has, and nothing worked. They did try to do a bunch of pro-America ads. They even had uh, Taylor Swift's boyfriend, before he was her boyfriend, and, and do an ad. They were all bombed. They were bombed. Everyone said they were lame. They, they, they weren't going to buy the product. So they have had to go <laughs> and find the most unwoke uh, <laughs> comedians or sporting organisations to uh, team up with to try to get people back. Sophie Ellsworth, always a pleasure. Thank you, Rita.